Welcome, my friends, to a Lego review. It is a Crater 3-in-1. This is the Space Shuttle uh, build. It, uh, you know, it is set number 31134, again, in the Crater 3-in-1 series. Was released in 2023. I think it was a, a spring release, if I remember correctly. And it's still not officially discontinued, but likely will be done at the end of this year. Although sometimes Creator 3 and 1s will kind of float on like a, a two or three year cycle and rotate out, you know, as soon as they announce, uh, you know, new 3 and 1 series. This was a, a $10.99 bill, uh, $10.99 cents. Uh, or excuse me, a ten dollar uh, crater three in one, so a nice small one, very good for those price points. So if you're a beginner, and uh, this one, there I made a video on the hall and also the building. So if you want to catch those, um, feel free to go back and watch those videos. The interesting thing is I have all three, so I have a whole pile. Of pieces left over from these builds so the uh, interesting thing was that uh, I didn't buy this this is essentially I got this for for free somebody was giving it up they started building one of these they started building another shuttle and then they gave up I don't know if they were trying to use this for like an like a school project or what the deal was but they just kind of gave it away and the interesting thing is they bought three of these. I didn't know it um, at the time, but some of them were open, you know, unopened bags and everything like that. And when you build all three, um, which I, I hardly ever get to do, normally I have to build it, break it down, build it, and then break it down and then build build it and do my reviews individually. This one I was able to kind of knock out and I can review it all in one shot, which is fantastic. The surprising thing is just even with building all three builds, it's just the sheer amount of parts uh, that were in this set. And uh, it's definitely pretty amazing. And what I like about it, and really how I figured it out was this unique part right here was really easy to help identify. There weren't too many sets that have this, uh, uh, this particular part. Um, let's get into some of the builds here because that's where... This part came into play. They've got this is the the main shuttle, or ooh, it's already falling apart. So there you go. Be careful when you're holding onto these. This is a really cool small build. I mean, you look how nice this is. Very displayable, displayable and playable. I mean, that's the name of the game in Lego. Displayable, playable, and uh, and uh, it's got a lot of cool play features. So this is also kind of a weird feature. Um, I don't really understand this setup too. It kind of like doesn't fully work very well, but I guess it can kind of be like a satellite, just like that. And that plays right in just like that. And this closes up. That's really well done. And boy, you could really use this technique for a lot of different ships. You know, um, uses this particular part right over here to really good advantage to kind of create that this uh, this uh, space where it can hold things. Uh, so that's that's really really good stuff. And I love that there's tan uh, tan kind of built into here. The back looks really nice. So there's this piece that's kind of movable. Kind of added that in. And, uh, and then, of course, really nice wing design with the black and dark gray outlines. And, uh, and the front looks amazing. Um, you've got more of the modern parts. And I think this, this looks chunky from the side like this. But from this angle, looks f uh, like right here, looks fantastic, right? So you see that it's kind of chunked out. But if you're coming from this direction, boy, that really does look, look great. So... Um, and this is an amazing use of angles and things like that to kind of give that full shuttle look. So that's pretty solid. And then this one, I mean, these are kind of weird builds, frankly, but this kind of reminds me as of almost kind of, this could be interesting for like a micro fighter design. You could kind of switch this up a little bit and maybe put like a micro fighter in here. 
So this has got some really good possibilities. I mean, this almost looks like a Mandalorian uh, shuttle almost. So that might be something to think about in future. So this has got a little bit of movement in these parts right here. And I uh, love these the tile designs. This is really well done. A little chunky from this side. Doesn't look that great right here. But from this side very you know it could be a real fun playable for for kids and then this one is a this is kind of newer you've been seeing this like for example the jazz set that came out uh that was in the lego uh, icons or ideas that these kind of like buildable characters are uh kind of fun if somebody wanted to create a bunch of different maybe you could create a couple of these and create like a whole scene out of it if you had a couple different sets that's pretty fun and then one of them it had kind of a side build of like and this think of this as the astronaut uh, planning his f flag uh, almost like uh, MTV style if you will so that's uh, that's pretty neat and again there's a lot of really good parts in here so there's some value some real value um, you know getting these uh, getting these colored tiles like I said there's some good tan pieces these are really nice uh, uh, to get. These uh, dome for for shaping. So who knows when this one uh, lasts? So it's a again a ten dollar. I got three of them, so that's thirty dollars uh, in Lego. Just a lot of really great parts to add into my collection. That is the uh, space shuttle creator three in one. Um, a little surprising. I didn't ever think I would actually get this, much less three of them. So, you know, and as I, I love the Crater series, but I'm really focused on Star Wars and some of the other uh, properties and pick a brick wall. So it's really hard for me sometimes to afford these. So when I get this at it, uh, get a shot at it, I'm jumping all over it. So uh, I would say, you know, big thumbs up on the, the shuttle build. These are interesting, but not really worth the purchase if that's what you're looking for. But the great thing about Crater 3-in-1 is the play value, and there's a lot of play value to be had in this set. So definitely recommend if you're out there for uh, some of the parts, just need it for parts, having some fun. It's a good build for, I'd say, kids not at, at the beginner level, but are starting to kind of work their way up into some creative builds. This would be a, a solid one. So with that, thank you so much for watching. This has been a Crater Review and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.